Alright guys, welcome back to Aussie Arvo today. We're dishing the four-wheel drives and we're going for the jet. Alright, so we're doing something a little bit different today. Me and Liam are at the 2023 Avalon Air Show in Melbourne and we've been coming to this thing since we were little sackers. We've, you know, I remember being there with Louis and my son watching the jets come over, but today we're a bit more grown up. We're coming here to check out all the things they got from planes to vehicles to everything. We're here into the night, so let's go get into it and see what's out there. That's it. We are super excited to be at the air show this year. This is the biggest air show in the Southern Hemisphere, and we're gonna be from dawn till dusk, talking to pilots, exploring everything, and sticking around to watch the C-130 flare drops and the wall of fire. Is it true that these can fly, I read somewhere that these can fly inverted yeah. for a short amount of time. Is that, is that, is that, is that true? Uh, we're not allowed to do that, <laughs> yeah. but it, it'll, it'll roll over. We're not okay. allowed to exceed 120 degrees, which okay. in the cockpit feels inverted. Yeah. Yep. I think the Dutch do roll theirs. Really? When they go to air shows, they'll yeah, roll Yeah, right. They're really? not allowed to. Yeah, I've never rolled one over, but I know people who at least say they have. They say <laughs> it goes right over. I've been completely inverted in it, and it just snaps right back. Like yeah, it's, right. It's yeah, wow. Aircraft. How does this feel compared to flying like a normal helicopter, like a civilian one? Ludicrous living over here. You pay with us, we'd be able to do loops and like barrel rolls and stuff. In this yeah. Thing. <laughs> what weapon systems are you carrying? So you've got a 30mm gun on the nose. Yeah. Uh, I sent a turret which you can slave to your helmet. Really? So you can look? Yeah. It's more like it's more like shooting from the hip though. So if I'm flying it, the, yep. the front seat normally flies and the back seat's the senior one who does everything else. Yeah. If I'm flying along and I see a pop-up through it, I can make the gun look where I'm looking and suppress them. <laughs> While I'm doing that, the back seat is gonna clue in, he's gonna get the camera to look wherever I'm looking. Yeah. Uh, and then he can take over the engagement but he's sort of better controls. Uh, uh, so that's yeah, that's firing a 30 mil semi-armor piercing high explosive incendiary. Which translates to sort of like shooting hand grenades. <laughs> um, <laughs> that'll go at about 700 rounds a minute, and we max out at about 450 rounds. If you go on, we've got the uh, door open on the other side, you can see where the ammo feeds. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yep. These little bins so you can quick load it. Oh, so other okay. countries put uh, air to air missiles on them, like yeah. Stingers or Mistral, but we don't use that. Wow. Uh, we import it for you know, reconnaissance and ground attacks. Oh, inline six. They got beadlocks? Why can't I have beadlocks? <laughs> oh, so IFS. I reckon all the new ones would be, they just build massive heavy duty. The CVs, like that's, that's as thick as. Like you get like a, a dual cab CV and they're like, they're like that thick. Whereas that's like the thick of like a patrol CV. Yeah. Or something like that. Ever managed to get any of these stuck before? Yes. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so I've, I'm actually a driving instructor in the force. Okay. And I, uh, yeah, we take a bunch of guys out and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And yes, we do. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're really good, capable cars. Yeah. yeah. The Mercedes like terms of reliability and that they seem to yeah. they're all good. Yeah. yeah, really good. Yeah, really good. Yeah, awesome. extremely re reliable. Yep. Um, yeah, like I said, you take it anywhere. Man. Yeah. yeah. Hang on, here's the real question, Liam. Does it have cup holders? Nah, no cup holders. That looks pretty old school. Really? Like it's not digital or anything. It's all just like I don't know. It's all pretty like standard. Center diff lock. That'll be your front and center and rear diff lock. Everything over engineered to the max. Yeah. Maybe I should paint the patrol like army green. <laughs> That's like Fast and Furious. Jump out the back of the... <laughs> Look how wide it is. Like, massive. how long is that? 100 meter, 120 meter wingspan? Crazy. So crazy. You know what else is crazy? Like think about how much it can store, how thin the, the shell is, but still be strong. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. The walls are like not even a foot thick. Yeah, I know. You know think about how many people you could fit in here. Well, it's funny, apparently during like when they, were, um, know, but... when they were evacuating people out of like, um, Afghanistan oh, or whatever, yeah. like not long ago, they could feel like they fit like 800 people in the back of this Really? Thing, and they could take off with it. Because I think it's got like, so it can carry 77 ton. 77. Now, I, I did some math. So how many litres of 100 did your car get? Ah, uh, like 14. If you were to guess how many litres of 100 this plane got, how many litres per 100 kilometres? What do you reckon? Just, just ballpark guess. Oh, I don't know, like 180. 180 litres per, per 100 kilometres flown? Yeah. 3,000 litres per 100 <laughs> kilometres. 
of it. Aeronautical, aero gas, whatever they use. That's, that's, that's a lot of fuel. Yeah. <laughs> so it can, it can carry, apparently, six helicopters. F-22 Raptor. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Arguably the best combat fighter jet there is in the world. I wouldn't even know, but I wouldn't doubt it looking at it. <laughs> All right, we're on the flight line. Ready to see the Raptor. <laughs> that should be pretty cool and pretty loud, so we've got the earplugs yeah, in. Yeah, earplugs are in. But yeah, um, let's go. We want to welcome you to today's F-22 demonstration. $150 million each. Not as expensive as I would have thought. Well, it's funny because the other ones like the F-15s and that are only like 20 mil a piece. So really? that makes this seem very expensive. How does it feel flying the F-22 compared to like say an older model aircraft like the fourth gen fighters? Is it really that much of a... It is. Yeah? The, just the physics of flight is different. The physical left hand, right hand is completely different. Yeah. I'm sure you've heard of fly by wire. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's just, I, I put an input into a stick. Yeah. And it's just a request. And Rapid right. Jet says, hmm, let me calculate that. I'll tell you what I can do. And it'll physically try to move. It'll move whatever surface is required. I tell people that I think that flying the Raptors made me a worse pilot. <laughs> because you can get yourself into a scenario where you can only get out if you use enough power. Yeah, yeah so right, you can okay. Just power yourself out of any Yeah, any yeah. Yeah, I've read that it can hit Mark 1 without even. I can fly at supersonic speeds without even using the art burners. Like it's, really? Yep. Have you been able to take these overseas and stuff? Yes, yeah, so we're actually deployed to Japan right now, which is where we have our, oh, okay. our Japanese patches. Yeah, yeah. I've uh, been to the desert a lot. Yeah. Um, it's kind of a waste in the desert, to be honest, because like you're fighting the Middle Eastern countries. Yeah. Not not a lot of uh, threat there. And yeah. Kind of just waste in the sand. It's a political thing, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. Twenty twos are here, so no one's messing around. Yeah, because you're the only country. Well, obviously, you know, US isn't given to anyone else. You you guys are, yeah, exactly. and they're. Would you say they're probably the most capable fighter jet there is at the moment? I definitely would say that. Yeah. They're most capable fighter jet, for sure. I think it's crazy like, how quick he accelerated. Like, he would have gone slow. I've have never you... seen anything that would like resemble a UFO or anything like <laughs> no. that. Um, I've seen my wingman do some bizarre things where it's yeah. like, what are you guys doing over there? Um, but I've never seen anything crazy. Yeah, like right. That. Okay. So, nah, awesome. awesome. Thanks for talking to us, mate. Yeah, no yeah worries. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> In a war zone, you see that thing doing the It's the game it's so over. Scary. <laughs> it's so scary. Oh, jet engine. Jet engine. Cool. Yeah, so that's why it works. So it's like it's like always having a supercharger too. You use the exhaust to yeah. power more. Oh, that's a new one there, isn't it? That's the yeah, one that's there. Yeah, that's the new one, yeah. Look how small it packs up. Yeah, I know. You can fit it in a container. Fit it in a shipping container. Is that move with the... Yeah, the yeah. Like, right stick will uh, move it vertically and uh, horizontally. It's uh, inverted up and down. Oh, yep, yep. And then the left stick can zoom in, zoom out with it. Oh, That's no insane. way. That's uh, insane. You find a person and zoom out <laughs> and you hit the uh, left bumper. I'll zoom out first. Yeah, zoom out first. Yeah, and then hit the left bumper on someone. Oh, no and, uh, way. They start tracking them if they start oh, moving. And, uh, That's unreal. That's yeah, insane. So these are the Is that all off that, this one? That, off that one, yeah. 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 And these are the cameras that sit on uh, those drones behind you over there. Oh, oh fair income. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And infrared? Yep, yep. So yep. it's only IR at the moment. Uh, so yep. yeah, if it was night time, they'd be lit up with a Christmas tree. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. That's unreal. They sit around in these little kind of boxes. It's not a great word for it, but yeah. boxes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, and they have a remote that can control these from the ground. Yeah. Wow, yeah, right. There you go. How crazy was that? It's like zooming in on those and, people and having what, a conversation. And the thing is, that's the stuff they're showing us. Imagine what they've actually yeah, got imagine classified. imagine what they don't want us to know. When they can zoom into a person literally a kilometre away and show a perfect image of them. <laughs> You, 
these are electronic warfare, are they? Jets? Yeah, that's yeah. right. So does that mean, like, what are you doing with electronic? So um, we've got jamming pods fitted to, the, to this one, and that's the principal mission for the Growler. So airborne electronic attack. So we'll jam radar systems and communications. Yeah. Um, try and make everyone else more survivable. So if you get into trouble in the air and you need to do air-to-air -air combat, yeah. like, are you still able to sort of defend yourself with these? Yeah, we've got um, the one with the yellow cap on. That's an AIM-9X, which is a infrared missile. And then okay. on the other side, we've got an AMRAM, AIM-120 yep. AMRAM. So, yep. that's, so we've actually got all the same air-to-air -air capability that the Super Hornet has. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, we don't yeah. have the air-to-ground uh, ordnance. Yeah, okay. all the same air-to-air. -air. Is there anything you'd change about it? If you could change one thing uh, on it? Have more of them. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone wants more of them. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Everyone says no one wants to go anywhere without growlers these days. Yeah, really. So it's that much of an impact they have. Like, yeah. they feel much safer having these guys flying around. Yeah. yeah. Test run. I'm buying this engine for a bit of It's gonna make sure it runs first though. Uh, it's a Rolls Royce V12, so and it's uh, it's got screamer pipes essentially straight out of the headers. So. sticks between your legs and in the middle yep. and you've got two throttles yep. whereas this thing single throttle stick on the side so the Hornet like you move the stick a lot yeah okay flying, yeah whereas yep. this thing it's all very like I don't know it kind of feels like you're playing a PlayStation sometimes <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Movements do big things so yeah right that's probably the biggest physical difference yeah like. the mission is very different as well mm. so there's a lot of sensors on that jet so you're constantly making sure that they're all doing the right thing and yeah. interpreting all that info is a bit different to what it was on the Hornet. Yeah, because can't they like share data with each, like they all talk to each oh, other? Oh, we all do. So yeah, we've got a common data link. We've got additional data links on this jet that others don't. So we've got yeah. multiple data links going yeah. on. That would be the difference. In the Hornet, you very much had like one mission, you knew what to do with that. The jet would go do it, or you'd go yeah. do that mission. This thing's just doing everything. Yeah, yeah. okay. Doing yeah. a bit of air to air, air to ground, and yeah, so yeah, yeah, controlling. So yeah. yeah. Just busy. <laughs> Do you find that um, obviously off these you stay off radar a bit easier than off them, like the radar signature on these? Yeah, is... yeah, I mean this jet is designed to, have, to be LO or low observable, so yeah. that jet is not. Um, yeah. And that's that's the major difference between if you hear 5th gen or 4th yeah. gen. So that's 4th gen, this is 5th gen, and it's all about okay. the signature difference. Yeah. yeah, do you see more like future jets probably leaning towards that way and sort of go on the stealth yeah. route rather than... Yeah, I think you have, like look at Ghost Bat and everything yeah. that's new these days is all designed with LO principles in mind. Yeah. So they're obviously made in the US. Um, yeah. And when we bring them back, we fly them back. We don't put them on a boat or anything like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I've done a few now, but the, whole, the leg from Hawaii to um, Newcastle is about 10 and a half hours. So yeah, wow. Do you, yeah. What do you do if you need to go to the bathroom? Like, so, is yeah, there a... I mean, a couple of things. <laughs> don't do the number two. Um, <laughs> if you can help it. Piddle pack. Yeah, and then the piddle pack. Yeah, you just... Pee in a pack and stack them up. Yeah, right. Collect a few bags by the end of the trip. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, 
probably about half of us were around when we were doing the Iraq and Syria sort of stuff. So yeah. they were longer missions overall. Yeah. Um, and we'd do that three or four times a week. So you kind of just got really? used to it. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. It's not super comfortable. Yeah. It's certainly not Qantas first class. So. <laughs> no. Just the air show displayed a lot of our current capabilities, it also showed us in some future aspects of defense such as space and unmanned aircraft. Yeah, these, these are new, these are still in their developmental stage. Did these have to fly into here or did they get uh, No, so in? they're not allowed to fly over uh, populated airspace at the moment, so okay. it's still very uh, okay. early in the development stage. Yep. Yep. So this one came in on a truck, yep. but this isn't a mock, this is the real deal. Yeah. yeah. Is, is there a reason they're so much smaller than like you know these bigger aircraft here? Is that because they don't have to fit human? Or, like, yeah. Why is... Yeah, it's a big part of it. Um, yeah. There's no life support needed. Um, that yeah. takes up a lot of that. Um, I guess the reason why it's bigger than like, your small drones as well is it, it designed to be um, flying with these guys, complement them. So it needs the range and it, it needs the speed. Does it do air-to-air -air combat or is it mainly a ground, sort of air-to-ground? No, so this one doesn't carry weapons. Oh, so it's just surveillance? Um, or it's yeah, just... so uh, it doesn't carry any weapons. Um, like I said, it, it flies alongside these guys. Um, this one will go into the contested airspace mm. where we don't want to you know, uh, send in right. a, yeah. a multi-million dollar jet and a human life. So are they purely to sort of what, draw out the enemy in a way or, or to, to see how they react? Is that what the idea of putting of putting them into? Oh, yeah, I can't really go into that. Oh, um, of course. Use, use your imagination. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 fair yeah, enough. Yeah. Okay. You can say, for anyone that missed the translation there, pretty much, yes, they will be putting rockets on them and guns, and yes, they will be going to shoot down on the plane. <laughs> but he just didn't want to say it. <laughs> yeah, because that's, that's the purpose. Send in an unarmed, unmanned vehicle that can shoot other people as opposed to one with a person in it. Do you ever see like yourself ever flying alongside? Like, I saw all these unmanned stuff here. Yeah. Is that what you sort of see like potentially them flying alongside you in some way or? Yeah, I so, think so. I think yeah. that's what we're we're looking like is a more of an integrated kind of force between manned and unmanned vehicles. They can provide the density sometimes that we can't. You obviously make make sacrifices when you put people inside of a plane. Yeah. And if that's a cheaper cheaper way of getting more density um, and reducing the risk to people, then uh, yeah, I think we probably will end up with some kind of fused integrated system like that. So it's all about the, the men and women yeah. in the Air Force and their achievements. Yeah, pretty full on. And I guess that's the thing to remember. Like, it is cool seeing all this stuff, but there's real human sacrifice throughout it all as well. <laughs> All right, that's the end of the show. Bloody awesome. We'll yeah, back. hope you enjoyed it. Something different, but you know, <laughs> yeah, we thought it was drive, fun. But so. That was bloody awesome. That's it. All right, see you guys.